It was the uh, August of 1976, and I had been in Nashville for three years. Uh, I'd hit a little bit of a, a dry period. There was one person really that would see me, and his name was Bob McDill. And little did I know that he was quite possibly the best person at going to work and, and having a work ethic as, be, as far as being a songwriter and a brilliant songwriter. And uh, I, I went to Bob and I said, you know, I'm having a little trouble writing. And he showed me an open tuning on guitar. And I didn't have a car. I had to walk from his office back to my uh, efficiency apartment. And I wrote it in my head. I uh, actually made it up in my head. Um, got to my apartment. I had my, my dad's old L.C. Smith uh, typewriter. And I'm a really good typist. So I typed it up. And there was everything but the last verse. So uh, I spent about six weeks uh, writing scenarios uh, for the end of the song. And I thought it was going to be twice as long as it was. And finally, uh, I just decided to let the listener, uh, to respect the listener. And I wrote the last eight lines and let the listener decide what happened. My ASCAP uh, representative, Merlin Littlefield, the great late Merlin Littlefield, had a uh, pushed the song to, to uh, Larry Butler, the great producer. And on successive nights, uh, Mr. Butler recorded it, and I had calls the next morning after work from Merlin saying, well, Larry Butler cut your song on Johnny Cash last night. And the next morning was, Larry Butler cut your song on Kenny Rogers last night. And while all the versions were wonderful, the right one was the one that made it out. Because of Kenny's uh, performance and Larry's production uh, was the one that that will always be remembered and I'm very grateful for that. To have anyone listen to any of your songs uh, and appreciate any of them is, is miraculous, it's great. To have uh, a singer such as uh, Kenny Rogers sing one of your songs is way over the moon. I enjoy it, I always love playing the song, I always love hearing the song not tired of it. I have a good time when I hear people quoting the song uh, when they don't know that I'm there. Uh, or people saying things like, I heard on the news, uh, oh, it's like the old saying, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. And I'm sitting there watching the news going like, that wasn't an old saying, I, I actually wrote that. Chuck Todd. <laughs> so uh, it's, it is unreal. It kicked the door down for me to, work the rest of my life as a, as a songwriter and to write the songs that I wanted to hear. Interestingly enough, that was a song I wanted to hear.